Yo, what's crack like and challenger? I'm your host, James Moreland. Today we will be talking about java moss, which is an amazing plant to have in your aquarium and that I basically have it in all my tanks in the fish room. So you do see something right there. Shh. That's a spoiler for a different video, um, I should actually just turn it off, but it's okay. This plant is absolutely amazing. Java moss grows really quickly in your aquarium, and this plant requires little light, which is great for nano tanks if you don't have a strong light on it, and also low tech lights with no CO2, because this plant does not require CO2, and it does not require any fertilizers, which is amazing for beginners, and I said that I have this in all my tanks, that's because it's so easy to get separated. There are a couple other mosses, like Xmas moss, they also have weeping java moss, and I keep those too, and mosses are amazing. So if you guys don't have any mosses, I'd really recommend you guys trying them out. I'll leave some links down below where you can get them. I might have them on my store, but if not, I'll leave some other cool links down below. So java moss grows pretty quickly, and it shoots out different little uh, branches of itself. You can cut those, and then they'll grow off of each other. It's really, really cool. And they're different types of mosses, just like Xmas moss tends to spread out and be denser. I actually have that in my 20 gallon. I'll have a good example of that. Weeping java moss is really awesome because you can actually attach it to driftwood and droop over, and, um, and it naturally grows downward. And that also brings me to another point. You can actually attach these to a lot of different different things. I actually have these attached to lava rock and actually have them on wildpetsupply.com. I keep plugging myself. I feel bad. But you can also attach java moss to pieces of wood. I have it connected to Malaysian driftwood in both of these tanks. I have two different types of mosses. I also have some moss in my 60 gallon attached to some driftwood. And also I have kind of like a bamboo tree. I might be making another one of those. Or I think it's like a bonsai tree. That's, that's the name. But I have that in one of my tanks. I also have some in my 20 gallon. So they're all over in my tanks. One thing is when you cut it up too much, it might get a little annoying and spread out in your tank. Some people say it's really annoying. It can clog your filter. It can get spread out and completely fill up your tank. I'll have some footage of that and yeah, so you might want to watch out for that Some people also connect it to little moss ledges similar to these little things and people tie them onto it And then it's easy to grow and then if you need some moss Let's say you're decorating your tank You can cut it off and it works really well Also, this is great for a lot of different types of fish. You can use it as a foreground plant It's really compatible with bigger fish too when you attach it to driftwood or dragonstone or anything else It is also great for shrimp because little things can get stuck in the moss and the shrimp will actually be able to eat off of the moss and that's really good for them. Also, it can protect your fry and baby fish, kind of like guppy grass, except I could do a separate video on other plants if you want me to. But it spreads out, and fish will be able to hide in little spots between the java moss, so it's really awesome. I'm trying to keep this video short. One last thing, when you're able to attach the moss to driftwood or stones using string or twine or invisible string, or you can use super glue. Some super glues do not work, but this is actually special. It's non-toxic, also it creates an acrylic bond between the two. I like string and I also like this. You can find a link for it down below and it's fully safe for your aquarium. So guys, this was a short video. If you liked it, make sure you drop a like, make sure you drop a comment. But guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will catch you on the flippity flop. See you all later, challengers. Bye.